Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and if you're new here, I would love it if you considered subscribing. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much and welcome back. Today I wanted to share how I use my Jujube BFF when I traveled with my twins and they were a year and two months old. I also carried my Super B. I'll show you how I made this work and let's just get right to it. This is my Jujube BFF in the blackout print and I carried this as my main diaper bag. What I did was I packed it as my everyday bag and then I used my Super B right back there as an overflow bag. In the mommy pocket, I kept it nice and simple. In the front pocket, the only thing I have are some bars as snacks for myself and a drop to go pen. In the sunglass holder, the only thing I have is a nail file. I don't have anything on the key fob. And then in this pocket right here, I kept a small set piece in Unikiki 2.0. And this is just what I always carry in my bag, which is Motrin, teething gel, my pill box, some ointment, and some nail clippers. In this zip pocket, I kept feminine products because you never know. For this side, I carry my always with me brush light. I kept this pocket pretty open because I wanted to be able to toss in my B charge if needed. This is in the black magic print with a black beauty lanyard. I had this around my neck or in my little baby carrier, but I also wanted to have space to put it in here once I was on the plane, which I did. The tech pocket was pretty simple as well. My phone was also in my carrier or in my pocket, but once I was on the plane, it was tucked in here. And then I also had a Kate Spade phone charger just in case. In the bottle pockets, I actually kept bottles. And these are Komodomo bottles and they are fabulous. I had one for my daughter. The other side, I also carried one for my son. Attached to the D-ring, I had a passy pod and in here I have two passies and a dapple wipe. And I also had my pink lady star. I carried this with backpack straps and in the back, the only thing I carried was what I always do. It's my booty pod with Baby Gannick's hand face and baby wipes, an indestructible book, and then some disposable change pads. In the main compartment, this is what it looked like. I kept this pocket empty and then in this pocket right here, I kept some booty wipes. These are travel size. In this side pocket, I only kept a sanitizer spray in this pocket because I wanted to be able to push this to the side so I had a in a baby snack tower and in here I had a bunch of puffs yogurt melts and different type of snacks for my kids in the main compartment I have two large set pieces in this one this is in the space place print a bunch of toys for them toys that make noise toys that were for teething just different type of toys in the large set piece this is Unikiki 2.0 this was our snack bag and I had snacks, bibs, teething biscuits, their Simba, spoons in their case. And then I also had a container of food mom had prepared for them. And it all fit in here really nicely. Messenger strap. In the back, I carried my diapers. I have three for my son with a Munchkin disposable change pad, Lysol to go. And then in the bottom, I have some Munchkin disposable bags also. On the other side, I have three diapers for my daughter and a Munchkin disposable change pad. The only other thing I have in this pocket is a diaper cream. This is Boudreaux's butt paste. I don't have anything in this back pocket. And then in this one, the only thing I have are my kids' immunization records and their social security. That's how I packed my BFF and it worked really nicely because I had it in the seat in front of me and all I had to do was unzip and I could see everything without having to dig through other stuff. So it worked really nicely. Now I'll show you how I packed my Super B. Our Super B, this is in the Empress print, was mainly our overnight bag and our overflow bag outside pockets. I had a sip by swell bottle, the wipes, and some neat cheeks. In this small zippered pocket, there was just a packet of Clorox with a Ziploc bag and some Honest Company hand sanitizer spray. Back pocket, we carried our change pad from the BFF, two extra diapers so that I could change them as soon as I got to the airport. And then I also had a B light in here in the black magic print and a change pad. Moving on to the main compartment. This is what it looked like. Right on top, I had two emergency snacks. I had some baby Cheetos, or they're actually called little crunchies. And some extra yogurt melts, just in case we ran out. I had three quicks, a full set, and a fuel cell. 
What I am missing right now that was in here were two sweater blankets that were folded flat at the bottom. Starting with my quicks. In this quick that's in the blackout print, I chose it so it would match our bag and I could tell my husband, look for the one that's exactly like our bag. I had three extra diapers for each of my kids, another booty pod with some baby Annex hand face and baby wipes, some butt paste, and some munchkin disposable bags. In the back zippered pocket, I kept some wet ones and shut wipes. The next print I have right here, this is in the Palm Beach print. I actually used a dandelions print, but it is currently in use. And this was my daughter's quick. I kept three sleepers for her since we were spending the night at Atlanta. I wanted her PJs, an extra set of clothes just in case she got dirty during our flight, and then an extra set of PJs in case she got dirty the next day, and three pairs of socks. That's what's in this quick. In this Admiral quick, this was for my son, and I carried the same amount of things for the same purposes as I just mentioned for my daughter. Three onesies and three pairs of socks, and these are actually in a size 2T and hers are in an size 12 months. Just in case you were wondering, it fits really nicely in here and it's not super bulky. In this zippered pocket, I kept a small set piece and in that small set piece, I had my camera and what I did was I just, it's not in here right now because it's, I'm using it, but I took the lens off and just put the camera in here and I added the lens to another bag. Mesh pocket in the front, I kept a large set piece and this was my mommy bag. This is in the Newport print. I had everything I could possibly need and then some. I had a long strap, a coin purse with all of my bobby pins and hair ties, a super long charger for my phone, some tissues, a small set piece with all of my usual things, a foldable brush just in case. In the pocket right next to it, I have a medium set piece and this is in the Palm Beach print. In this medium set piece, I kept our cords. I had my battery charger for my camera and the cable. And then I had an adapter and charger for my computer. And here also was my lens that fit really nicely and it had a protector so it was secure. Last thing that I have in here is my fuel cells. In my fuel cell, I kept their milk and extra bottles. I had two other Komotomo bottles for them and then I had four milk containers because the stewardess were able to just give us extra in case we ran out. And then in this zippered pocket, I kept the usual extra wipes, wet ones, shout wipes, double wipes, and things like that. And that's what we carried in our fuel cell. That's everything we carried in our Jujube BFF and in our Super B. What I actually did was I removed my fuel cell from my Super B and had it right next to my BFF and we didn't have to reach into our Super B at all during our flight. But it was really nice knowing that it was in the upper head compartment. And once we got to the hotel, it worked really nicely just grabbing our Super B and our BFF and everything we needed was perfect for not having to go through our luggage. If you like this video or found it useful, I would really appreciate it if you gave it that thumbs up. If you aren't a subscriber, I would love it if you consider subscribing. And if you are a subscriber, I will see you soon. Bye.